Use of Helon-5 in Floppy Iris Syndrome Helon-5 is a visco-adaptive device, which is very different from traditional viscoelastics. Understanding this difference is crucial to using it in our traditional surgeries, or in more challenging cases such as this with Floppy Iris Syndrome. We'll first use the Helon-5 to expand the pupil. This technique of viscomadriasis, as first shown to me by Dr. Bobby Osher, is very useful. We'll inject the viscoelastic Helon-5 at the plane of the iris and pupillary margin, and we'll see that we're able to more largely expand the pupil and at the same time flatten the anterior lens capsule. This makes creation of the capsulorexis very simple. During hydrodissection, we lose some viscoelastic. Therefore, it's important that we replace this by adding more Helon-5 over the subincisional iris before phaco. Now we'll go ahead and add our traditional dispersive viscoelastic to coat the cornea. By using mostly our traditional viscoelastic, we can perform phaco in the technique that they're used to. In this case, phaco chop with power modulations resulting in very efficient lens removal. We'll add more Helon-5 to form a viscoelastic plug above the iris just prior to the INA. By injecting this plug of Helon-5 at the subincisional iris, we prevent iris prolapse. We'll go ahead and insert the IA probe and we can complete our cortex cleanup in an easy fashion. At this point, we're going to fill the capsule bag with our normal dispersive viscoelastic. This is what we're used to. On top of this, we'll add a small plug of the Helon-5 at the subincisional iris to protect it and further depress it. Adding this Helon-5 at the subincisional iris allows us to insert the eye well injector without fear of contacting the iris. We'll go ahead and insert the eye well and don't worry, that small piece of lens nucleus will be removed at the end of the case. And the lens goes into the capsule bag very easily because remember, the capsule bag is filled with our normal dispersive viscoelastic that we use on our everyday cases. So we're very much used to this technique. The Helon-5 plug is virtually invisible but plays its cru crucial role in preventing iris prolapse. At the end of the case here, we finally see what you wanted to see all along, the iris prolapse. This happens frequently in these cases. It's due to a pressure gradient. Pressure behind the iris is causing it to come out. So an easy way to fix this is just to release the fluid. Flatten the AC, release the trapped fluid, the pressure is equalized, and the iris goes back in the eye. Again, the pressure gradient needs to be equalized. Injecting more viscoelastic on top of the iris would equalize it by raising the pressure on both sides of the iris. Here, I'd rather lower the pressure. Finally, we're going to add a little bit of Kenalog into the anterior chamber, just a few drops. And as we spin this around here with a little bit of saline, we can tell that there's no more viscoelastic in the anterior chamber. Additionally, if there was a leakage of fluid, as you'll see I create here the paracentesis, what would happen is the Kenlog particles would flow out and you'd see this stream. On post-op day one, we do see a little bit of the Kenlog still in the eye, as well as a light dusting on the iris. But most importantly, the patient's happy with a clear cornea and a pretty iris. Thank you for your time and consideration.